Hello people, it is that time, it is that time again. We are back again with the Football Connect. I'm your host, Sam, and we, we are excited. I am excited. So what is happening? We are going to be talking about the big match preview. This is episode 2 and we are back again. And we are talking about the game that is coming on Monday the at 9 o'clock my time. Yes, 9 o'clock my time. We will be watching Liverpool versus Manchester United. Oh, it's Manchester United versus Liverpool at Old Trafford. It's Tenag versus Club, their first meeting. And this is going to be one of the most exciting games. The reason why it's going to be one of the most exciting games is because both teams are practically useless at this moment, if that even makes sense. They are playing like they have never played football before. One thing, let me analyze this game. I'm going to be truthful to you people. Liverpool don't look like they're scoring. They don't look like they understand what they're doing at this moment. United are just practically disjoined. What we were seeing in the preseason, it's not exactly what we're seeing when it comes to this. So, it's an exciting time and I can't wait to talk about it. And I want to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to click the like button. Subscribe to the Football Connect. Let's get into the game now. So welcome back guys we are in the show now so we are talking about liverpool manchester united versus liverpool big match preview and i'm gonna be telling you my thoughts and what i'm expecting to see from this game there's a lot of things that are going to be happening in this game there's a lot of surprises that we're going to be seeing from this game the reason why it's because for 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 starters most of the most of the t players or oh, not most of the players the teams themselves they have not won a game yet. None of them have won the game. So what's going to be happening is this. It is a battle of deciding what's going to be happening or who's going to be on top of the other one. Because as we speak, Liverpool has two points into the season and two games have been played. United has no points. They're actually rock bottom in the game in the league because of the four goals that were scored against Brentford. So both teams are coming from Messi week two, which they lost. United lost by four goals to Neil and Liverpool drew against Crystal Palace 1-1 and they got a red card to one of the most important players as of yet in terms of Darwin Nunes so it means he's going to be missing in this game also for United they still have players who are out because of injury L let me remind you Marshall was injured and is not yet back for the team and the Liverpool has the likes of Diogo Jota Roberto Firmino Naibi Keita or oh, Keita is back according to reports but Thiago Alcantara oh uh, Caris Jones, we have a lot of players who are injured. Practically at this moment, our midfield consists of Milner, who is old, of course, Henderson, Fabino, and uh, our strike force is going to be, I think it's going to be Cavalio, I think, Luis Diaz, and Mohamed Salah because of the injuries. I'm just telling you this out of the injuries and I don't really know what's going to happen and in terms of defense, I think it's going to be Joe Gomez versus uh, Joe Gomez and Virgil van Dijk because guess what? Um, Matip is injured and also uh, what's his name? This young Ibrahim Konate is also injured. So there is a disjoined teams at this moment and in this big match it's going to be interesting how Liverpool try to find a way to win against United or maybe they might lose against United you never know because United as much as I said they have some injuries they are still a good team they did prove it in the preseason when they played against Liverpool and they beat Liverpool by four goals to nil so can they be able to repeat what they did or Liverpool are going to continue with what they did last season remember the last time when Liverpool played United at Old Trafford they beat them by five goals to nil can anything changes from what we are expecting there are a lot of questions that that is to be asked. How are the teams gonna set up? My thoughts.
I think the Lesandro Martinez for United, I think that is out of the way. I think he has discovered that the player still has to get used to be with his teammates before he even gets used to the Premier League. So I don't think he'll put him. So my prediction may either be Maguire and Rafa Varane be the players that plays. So for United, my predictions of how the team will look like, I think they're going to be David Dagel, of course, as the, as the goalkeeper. We're going to have Luke Shaw. On the left, we're going to have Maguire and uh, Varane in the middle. Then we're going to have Diego Dalot because it looks like he does not even trust Aaron Wambasaka. So I won't even put him in there. In the midfield, it's going to be Bruno Fernandes. I think also Christian Eriksen gets another call back or maybe Van der Beek. I don't know. Maybe Van der Beek. Maybe one of those. Then we we'll have one of either Fred or McTamin. But I think it's going to be McTamin because I think... I just think maybe it will be him. I literally have no anything to say other than that. Then up for up, it will be Jordan Sancho, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Marcus Rashford. Because I think the other ones are still injured. Or maybe Elanga, I'm not really sure. Because confidence at this moment is lacking for Manchester United. It doesn't look like they are there yet. They are trying to sign some players, but they won't be ready for this game that is coming on Monday. So... This is how I'm predicting the lineup of United will be set up of. Then of Liverpool, I think it's going to be Alisson at Gome. We're going to have Trent Alexander Arnold at right back. We're going to have Joe Gomez and Virgil van Dijk in the midfield. We'll have Andy Robertson because at this moment, it is the strongest lineup we have. And these guys can be solid. And when we look for solidity, those guys can offer it if they are able to work together. Because I believe there's an understanding between Virgil van Dijk and uh, Gomez rather than Vejo Van Dijk and Nat Phillips like we saw last game. So they'll be able to stop a lot of things, a lot of threats that United brings. Then Robertson, of course, is going to be in. I felt like the frustration of Crystal Palace was one of the reasons why Klopp took him out. But I think he'll be back. In the midfield, I think it will be Fabino, Henderson, then Nyberg Keita. The reason why I'm saying Nyberg, this this one is because I feel like Fabino and Henderson can work together. I think that's one of the reasons why Klopp rested Fabio, rested Henderson in the game against Crystal Palace. I think it will work so well. Then Keita will be able to be the one who moves forward, passing forward. And maybe actually kick from outside. I'm hoping that there will be kicks from outside. And up forward, of course, it will be Salah, Luis Diaz. And I think it's going to be Cavalio. If Diogo Jota is not yet back, because at this moment, we don't know if Diego Jota is back. Remember, he went out with the hamstring, and there have been some couple of weeks now. I think he might be coming back. But if he's back, I think it's going to be at the substitute. He's going to be substituted, then added in later. But I think Cavalio gets his first start at Old Trafford. Now, this is how the teams are going to be set up. Now, the question is, how who is going to be the winner of these two teams? How would Liverpool set up to attack and get something out of Liverpool? And how would you live, United work it that way forward to win against Liverpool? All these are good questions. But I don't know how would the games will be set up and how it will play out. But I believe... When you think about it, Liverpool has more, more into this game, can get more into this game. Firstly, because you live, United are still dealing with some confidence issue. They're still trying to find themselves into the game so that they can at least produce something into the game. And secondly, I think the problems that Liverpool are dealing with are well problems that they can deal with easier than what Lee United are dealing with because at this moment United's problem is not because they can't score goals but there's literally no confidence they're just disjoined. Turner gets this type of football that he wants United to play which is to play from the back and after the Brentford game what we saw it looks like that is actually a recipe for disaster so it does not work and live United are not yet at that point like what they used to do last season where we would just find an individual more brilliance from one player and the win games and that doesn't happen Ten Hagen looks like he's a manager who wants to create a team that works together as a team not an individual individual glory, glory, glory. and I think that's one of the reasons that has been turning this team and making them fail countless and countless times so there will be a lot of things that happen in this game it's going to be an exciting remember to be away from home from Liverpool so I hope this 
they i hope you, this helps united in terms of their fans working for them and helping them to be ready for this game because it might surprise you you know but we will definitely see how the game plays out but one thing i'm i am sure of is that this game is going to be exciting this game is going to be crazy nobody has enough of the prediction liverpool has the upper hand in terms of expecting a team to win in this game but nothing yet at this moment in terms of what to hold united they have not yet scored goals yeah because the score goal that was scored for brighton was an on goal by the player the defender they have not yet scored a goal in the season and liverpool they have scored goals but the problem with liverpool was this they've been allowing the team that they're playing with to score them first before they score back so would that be the case against United? Because if United score, I think that can be the confidence that the players need to at least produce something. But if Liverpool are able to play that game and attack and actually do, if they score the goal, then they can be, they can have at least what we call a template to build on to and actually get to win the game. It's going to be an exciting game. It's going to be full of thrill and so many crazy moments. I don't know. I have a... A lot of predictions and i have a lot of trust that there will be some interesting things into this game by the way i have to tell you if united don't score a goal against liverpool in this game then they will have to take the own goal which was scored at brighton and make that their goal of the month from the first team or maybe choose from the women team or maybe from the academy side but that's what we are being told what's gonna happen that's the question can tena find the best and if I don't know. It's exciting. These are some decisions that I feel if the managers do, they're going to lose the game. If Klopp puts Nat Phillips again with Virgil van Dijk, there will be a, there will be a problem and they'll be really in trouble. And also, if you put young kids in midfield rather than to put Naibi Keita, that also can be a recipe for disaster. For United, if Lissandro Martinez is in this game, then it is a problem also for United. And secondly, if he makes, if they make Christian Eriksen to play as the holding midfielder, that will also be another recipe for disaster. So I hope the manager are wise and they will think this game through and actually take the use each other's weakness to their advantages so they get win I want my team to win. I want Liverpool to win, but I'm not sure. I'm still shaky at this moment when it comes to this game but at the same time i'm excited so let me know your thoughts in the comment section tell me what you're expecting is liverpool versus united at old trafford who wins i don't know click the like button subscribe to the connect my prediction is liverpool 3 united nil that's my predictions because i feel like when liverpool scores the first goal it's gonna build their confidence going forward but it can also surprise me. Let me know your predictions in the comment section and tell me where you think the other team will get the better of the other. Click the like button, subscribe to the connect. I'm out and I'll be back again with another video. Peace. <laughs> Georgia Pass, Diego Maradona, Johan Cruyff.